Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, um, about, I don't know, a week ago, something like that, I had a little meeting with my PA. I'm not going to disclose who my PA is because it's embarrassing. But I had a little meeting with my PA and, um, yeah, I, uh, I didn't have any sort of direction this year. I, you know, I had, I had had plans last year of what I wanted to do uh, with my business, you know, what I, what I wanted to achieve by the end of the year, uh, fin you know, financially, what I wanted to achieve in terms of direction in, in wh where the business is going, uh, plans with the cabinet, getting the cabinet and things like that. And uh, this year it occurred to me, the start of the year, I didn't really do that. So, um, yeah, I had this little meeting meeting in like inverted commas or whatever they're called um and wrote down a load of stuff and uh, i just wanted to share a few of those things with you that came from the little meeting thing um but yeah i mean i'm not gonna tell you the financial side because there was a lot of information in there about bank accounts and uh you know values of money in bank accounts and i'm not gonna go into all that but um i will pick out some more uh, solid goals that I've got for business that came out of this little meeting. So, without saying meeting about a million more times, I'm going to get on with it. Um, right. So, I just put on the floor the things I don't need. So, I don't need that. Don't need that. Um, do, do, do. I'm doing a Right, of course. New video camera. Um, no, I don't need that. Um, do not need that. This is like a comedy sketch. One second. Right, here we go. I tell you, I could be a comedian. Anyway, um, so, growth. So, the growth of my business this year. Here we go. Getting ready. Got, you, you got your cup of tea, we're we ready. Right, okay, so, eBay. So this is eBay specifically. This is what I uh, was relaying to my PA. Um, eBay, job lots from auction in fair quantity and processing them, separating the good from the bad, list the good and, list, yeah, okay, right, that's right. List the good um, and make money on the bad. So. What I mean by make money on the bad is get as much money as I can out of it from um, maybe job lot in, on, on eBay in a big job lot, maybe doing it at car boots, maybe, um, I don't know how, maybe throwing it back into an auction, uh, an auction house and just getting, make a little bit of money on the bad, that's what I'm meaning. So, you know, buy up, you know, these things in auction, you see them all the time, these box lots like, you know, six boxes of miscellaneous tat and all that sort of stuff. And that's what I've been doing for the past maybe two months now. But I just wanted to write that down uh, as, as a for, sort of form of continuation of that. Um, space for storage is going to become a future issue. Not necessarily unlisted stock. Uh, yeah, not necessarily unlisted stuff because I've got the lock up. However, listed stock, that's going to be a future issue. So, space, how can we deal with this? How can we deal with the issue of space as a future issue? Um, so, one second, let, let me see, right. So, here we go. eBay auctions to move through quicker, right? Now, I'm not going to be one of these people who maybe sticks everything on it, everything on it 99p and I'm doing a thousand items a week or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just not my personal preference. So don't go thinking just because I've said eBay auctions, I'm just turning to completely an, an eBay auction seller and I'm just going to be doing huge volumes of, of stock and packing about a thousand items a week. It's not what I want to do. But to resolve the space issue, I have been doing more auctions in the past six months on eBay with varying levels of success. I know that some items do well on auction. It's been a good learning curve. You know, I've learned that some items do well, other items don't do as well. But 
Um, what I've learned is that certain items can go on auction, and yes, okay, I might get a touch less than buy it now, but if I'm buying them in these big job lots, it makes sense to do that because I'm paying quite little for them. You know, if you worked it out as, uh, out, you know, individual cost of the items, probably pence. So, um, yeah, eBay auction for certain things. Maybe my lowest start price, $4.99, something like that. That's kind of what I've been doing. As I say, I've been kind of doing this on a learning curve for the last few months. But I'm really now thinking I need to step up the auction just a little bit with regards to space. So that is something I'm going to do a little bit more, but I am going to be primarily focused on buy it now still. I'm talking maybe 70% buy it now, 30% auction. So it's not like a major thing. I'm still going to have a large portion of buy it now, but I need to do the auction, some of these auctions, so then I'm not stagnating. Things aren't just sitting and just taking up storage space. So that is one of the ways to uh, deal with the storage space. Um, the other way is to look at what the ways I'm sort, uh, you know, so would I say sorting, storing these items. So look at the way I'm storing them. Have I got efficient storage systems in place? The answer to that on an overall sense is probably no. I've got Dexium whacking in place and I've got, you know, video game bundles and stuff like that and I've got like uh, electronics in a section, I've got plush toys in a section, I've got board games in a section, I've got vintage stuff in a section, but there are some sections that are good and that are fine, there are other sections that are a bit messy, a bit cluttered, that if I put other storage um, solutions in place, you know, it would maximise what I can get in that space, so that is another thing I'll be looking at. Um, Another thing is a regular sale. Now, I know a few people do this. This is a regular monthly sale on my eBay store, which will last maybe a week of the month. So one week out of the four weeks of the month will be a sale. And it'll just be a 10% off sale standard. I tried it in January with good success. I did it in February with, with not as much success. However, it just seemed to be slow for everyone, and even though I did a sale, it just didn't really... You know, I sold a few bits, but not as much as I hoped. Um, but yeah, maybe on a regular thing, that might help. Again, with doing the big job lots from auction, I'm into these items for quite little. So as long as I'm making sure that the numbers are still adding up, doing a 10% sale off those items is not a problem. Um, another one is um, limit, so not... Uh, limit... So not so many under, that is terribly written. Um, basically limit the amount of under £10 items I've got on, which I'm doing currently anyway. And anything that's below a tenner and that is auctionable, you know, that's suitable for eBay auctions, it's going on an eBay auction. And then I can, I can get it out within seven days rather than having loads of different things on for 5 95 or, you know, 7 95 or whatever it is. And then just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. I'm sure... You can put things on that are low value that will sell quick. I understand that. I've done that with Lego minifigures in the past few weeks. I've been putting on a few more low value items, but we've been selling quick because I've got my pricing right. So I understand that. However, um, sort of eBay auctions might help that when I am putting things on lower than a tenant. If they are auctionable items. If they're not auctionable items, it'll either get bundled up so that then it's worth more than a ten of the listing or... Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit, I don't know, I might do, maybe do, yeah, I'd say I might bundle things up, I'm not too sure, I'm not, if I can't bundle it and I can't auction it, it's kind of one of them things, I don't want to throw money away, but at the same time I don't want to put, you know, clog up my store with loads of lower value items, so, yeah, mainly if I can, put them on auction or bundle them up in bigger bundles. Um, uh, do, 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 one more space, where is the logic? Um, yeah, and then the other thing is, actually getting an office office somewhere it's there's a big row out section here but it doesn't matter i've just that's the basis of it so get an actual office space move pretty much completely out of the house obviously i might even if i got a big enough office space i would take down my lock up and you know do that and then store everything in one big area maybe have a fair monthly outgoing for that area um which would be, you know, that's something I've got to highlight, but that's why it's bottom of the list, because I don't particularly need it right now. There's other things I can do to, to still uh, squeeze the most out of the space I've got. Also, what isn't on this list is um, actually 
uh, the lockup itself. I could change that for, uh, I could uh, maybe upgrade that. Maybe I could put some listed items in that. I don't really want to list to mix, sorry, unlisted and listed stock in the same area in, in that lockup. But maybe I could, you know, swap some things around and things like that, and then maybe get a bit more space for listed stock in a bigger lockup, let's say. Or, you know, there's loads of different things, so that's on there as well. So that's in terms of uh, growth for storage and eBay, and that's what I'm kind of doing. So I'm buying these big job lots, some good stuff as well. Not, I'm not just focusing on quantity. I am focusing on quantity in some respects of the word. However, I will still be looking at quality lots as well that I can make some really good money on um, that means there's less wastage, but also I am doing a bit of quantity. Uh, just because I kind of like that as well. I just like buying these big job lots. Um, and there is money in them because they, they go for so cheap. So it's definitely worth doing. Um, so that's that. Um, okay at sourcing for eBay. So eBay is fine. With regards to, for me get, to me getting stock for eBay, that is fine. Got car boots, auctions, charity shops, da 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 contacts, whatever. I've said to you guys I'm fine for getting stock for eBay. It's not a problem. The issue I have is with Amazon stock. I can get a lot of Amazon stock for quarter four. Let me just um, turn the page because I think, yeah, I think, it, think it's on, I've got, I think it's on, yeah, right, okay, so here's Amazon. So continued growth with Amazon FBA. So I've currently got about 200, it says 240 items there, but I've not, I've got 270 now because I sent in a shipment. Um, but yeah, so, 240, uh, 270 items up at Amazon FBA. I wouldn't really like that for the rest of the year to get beyond about three to 400. Storage fees and whatnot, all that sort of stuff. And then at Christmas, I'm going to be sending in a lot of stuff and that'll bulk me up for the Christmas period. And then I'll sell, a lo sell through a load of stuff because it's mainly Lego this year and that'll sell no matter what. So yeah, it'll, well, I say no matter what, I don't know that, but you know what I mean? It's very, very likely to sell. So that'll then sell through my inventory in January. Hopefully I'll be down to about 200 items for maybe 500 once I've sent up all my Lego and other bits and bobs. Uh, prior to quarter four, so it'll you know my inventory will go up and then it'll go down. That's the way I want it to do, and then repeat it next year. So you know three to four hundred for uh, I want to try and grow that a little bit and get up there. Now the problem I have really with Amazon is I want to do one to two shipments a month with between thirty and fifty items in thirty being an absolute minimum uh, each month. Now. Not there's uh, right down here. Not enough stock about at the moment, right? I can't seem to find enough stock for Amazon at the moment. Now, I've not looked. I've not diversified massively. Uh, to be honest, I've not looked um, too much into books and things like that, and, and other different things. And I could also, while I'm looking at the auction for eBay, I could look at the big boxes of books for Amazon and stuff like that. So there is ways and and. I will be trying to diversify to be able to get more stock for Amazon because I have no doubt, doubt it's out there with a little bit of work. Um, so, yeah, basically, I need, I want to do one to two shipments a month, 30 to 50 items, if I can, with uh, each month with Amazon leading up to quarter four, and then, you know, heavily putting loads of stock into Amazon FBA in October. Uh, November time. So that's my kind of my plan with Amazon FBA. Try and keep it fairly steady over the course of the year. You know, making a couple of grand or a gra a gra one one thousand to two thousand in um, you know sales there each month would be good. Would be good because don't forget Amazon FBA isn't my primary income. My primary income is eBay, and it has been for a while. At Christmas, it becomes like more. May maybe Amazon is maybe a little bit more, but. You know, most of the year, it's usually eBay is my, is my kind of workhorse. So, yeah, so that'd be good. I want to sustain it. I want to try and make sure I've got enough stock. As I mentioned, there's not enough stock about at the moment for me personally. But we're not in the car boot season yet. So I've got the car boots, the outdoor car boots, and I think that will help anyway. With a little bit of diversification and stuff, I think it's going to be fine. But, yeah, Amazon, more more quarter four focused. Uh, stockpile, other, 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 sorry, couldn't even speak then, but as well as that, I want to be um, buying, you know, sniping, 
buying from car boot, sealed items applying for quarter four and get a load of stuff up there at quarter four as, as I mentioned but I do want to re, you know reinforce that I will be sniping alongside doing getting stock regularly for Amazon FBA I will be sniping for Christmas so yeah Amazon FBA more Xmas focused but I will be sent trying to send up um, you know bits and bobs in the year Lego Keep buying buying and stockpiling Lego basically, that's kind of my drift. If I send it up this year, then I'll send it up next year. Uh, sorry, if I send it up this year, then I'll send it up this year if it's worth it. If it's not worth it, it goes as an, an investment for maybe a year's time, two years time, three years time, whatever. But just keep stockpiling that when I can, as long as the numbers are adding up and I've got the money to do so. And it, you know, it's financially viable for me to do so. Um, and then, last resort, if I really can't find any stock for Amazon from car boots, charity shops, things like that throughout the year, my last resort will be doing some eBay sniping again and paying up for items, but obviously then I can at least build a bit more of an inventory up there. So if I'm really struggling at any point during the year to find Amazon FBA stuff, I will be trying a bit of sniping again, uh, for specifically for now, you know, for actually getting Amazon out. Amazon items up there now opposed to Christmas as well um, but I do want to make sure I am building so as a last resort if I can't find anything from charity shops or anything with regards to Amazon FBA I will be starting some sniping just to get the ball rolling up there as well um, YouTube so YouTube is going to be a sideline of course I don't make much money off this at all um, however it's a massive massive help with social you know being social feeling uh, very therapeutic, it's maybe even a form of venting for me, you know, like this video is quite kind of venting, you know, it's getting out all of the the plans, the ideas, and I can look back at this video in a year. I apologise, we are getting on a little bit, 16 minutes, so this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, I should have mentioned that at the start, I might put a little, like, you know, uh, banner or something up that says this is a longer video. Um, but yeah, so, to help with social, Ideas, I'm going to be focused on more quality over quantity. I want to do this year sometime, I want to do like some 30 to 45 minute kind of process courses. Like, what I mean by that is like, you know, I, I, I did a while back on my channel like how to pack your items and how to do Amazon FBA shipments. And they were like, you know, 30 to, minutes to an hour sort of like courses, you know, kind of free courses. And I want to do a bit more of that again. I want to get some really quality information out there for people. You know, really um, good, um, high quality video production on some good, uh, solid kind of, you know, courses. So if you've got any ideas for me, any courses you want to see in, in, in that nature, put your comments down below. So with regards to, uh, you know, YouTube, I want to do quality over quantity. And aiming for basically two to three videos a week, really. Um, I don't want to be doing too much more than that, and I want to try and do some more live streams, as I've mentioned. Um, AdSense and Amazon uh, Associates revenue to be accounted for in the business, obviously, at the end of the year for tax. Um, right, so that's that, I think, because this is just generally a list of more personal stuff. Um, Adam's own goal to walk the length of a marathon. Yeah, I do. I want to, after my 50,000 steps and 50 listings the, a few weeks back, I've now decided I do want to walk the length of a marathon, so that's a personal goal. And then there's some other kind of random stuff on here, more sort of family-related stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, God, I'm not even weeding that one out. I'm not even weeding that one out, but yeah. Um, so that's that. And then we've got, this is some older stuff, this is, actually this is when we had a little talk last year. So, I don't, I think that's everything. So, we're done, we're done guys. I know it was very in-depth, however, this is, video has kind of been more for me than anyone else in particular because it documents for me where I'm at now, what sort of plans I've got going forward, all that sort of stuff. Although you may, may have got some interest out of it, so if you have, do give it a thumbs up. Um, I'll see you in the next one guys, uh, don't know what the next video is going to be actually, I've not even planned for it, um, but yeah, I've got actually I've got a big auction haul coming in tomorrow, um, again I've got the man with the van, uh, he's coming to my lock up, so uh, yeah, I might do a little bit of a video on that, I'm not sure, but yeah, anyway I'll see you, I'll leave it there guys because we're coming up to 20 minutes, 
Um, so yeah, I will leave it there and I'll see you in the next one. See you very soon, guys.